All right, so I'm gonna be recording this video on my new phone, so let me know if the quality is any better or worse. Um, so first, um, anyways, uh, this model, let's see, is there a model? Okay, so I'm gonna be showing how to open up and disassemble this HP model 17-AK014CY. So this model has um, some hidden screws, but anyways, first thing you want to do is remove the um, battery, of course. So to remove the battery, what you do is you just slide the two these two tabs inwards, right? When you do that, the battery is a little tricky. You have to kind of lift it up slightly and pull it back. So just slide it out just like that. Once you do that, you want to remove all the screws. So there's two there's a screw hidden under each corner of these rubber pieces so you have to pry it up I used my fingernails and just pulled it up the adhesive is pretty strong but there's yeah there's one under each one so the amount of screws there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven I don't think there's a screw under here so I'm not gonna pop that open I've been working on a lot of HP's and they've been putting these little plastic covers that don't really cover anything but anyways, to remove the CD drive, after you remove this one screw, um, you'll have to flip the laptop over because it gets caught, and then you just um, pull underneath the this bezel area, okay? All right, now you got the CD drive out. So after you got all the screws out and you got the CD drive out, just open the screen up. And then what you do is you get your fingernails in or your pry tool. Let me see if I can show this. So your fingernails or your pry tool into the area here and then I push on the back so what I do is I use my fingernails in the area here and then I push um, on the back to pry this cover out okay just like this Hopefully you'll be able to see okay just like that and if this video doesn't come out good with this camera um, then I can it should be okay because or if it doesn't really matter I can use my old phone as a dedicated recording for this and then yeah but if it turns out to be a lot better then um, I'm, I guess I'm gonna have to switch to using my new phone for recording which makes it a little tough because then I get customers calling and stuff and I can't take the calls um, but anyways as you can see the covers all coming up just like that just lift it wiggle it around sometimes the back parts get stuck a little bit so you kind of have to um, mess with it a little bit okay just like this this is the first time I'm opening this specific model I haven't actually seen one of these models before so I have to be a little careful uh, it looks like these clips are holding it so you kind of have to find a way to get this to go forward and lift these clips up um, but it should also work if you just raise from the front and kind of wiggle it around just like that all right so there you go we got the cover off this one was um, acting super slow um, and from after using it it seemed like it was a hard drive issue so we're replacing the hard drive so anyways um, once you replace or remove the battery um, I guess before you remove the cover um, you can remove the battery before you remove the cover and before you remove the screws and then to be safe It's always good to hold the power button for 15 seconds or so after you've removed the battery um, I'm just changing the hard drive out. So I kind of don't really need to worry about that so much But the main reason is the LCD connector usually Sorry carries enough voltage that it can short out the um, the board and then the backlight won't work um, so anyways inside this computer you'll see there's this board for the USB port with the two LEDs and then you got this connector so it's it can be removed separately so the hard drive is trapped underneath there so you will have to um, flip this tab and pull this cable out to get to the hard drive so we'll do that I'm gonna leave this one attached um, the hard drive has these little rubber pieces that are holding the hard drive in place so you need to pull those rubber pieces out just like this okay so grab that hopefully you can see what I'm doing um, pull that up all right just like that 
once you get those two rubber pieces out you should be able to pull this back this thing is very stretchy so actually I wouldn't use that to pull it and actually pull the physical hard drive itself because it looks like I don't think you can pull it with this rubber piece yeah so what I'll do is I'll switch to a you can use anything that will fit in the screw hole um, I'll use a screwdriver I think this T8 yeah it fits perfectly so use a T8 and then I'll use that to kind of put it in the the mount screw mount hole that is no longer that isn't being used and then I'll pull the hard drive out so as you can see it comes out the rubber kind of grips into the thing so it's kind of difficult but once you get it out then you can slide this whole piece out okay so this hard drive is going to be replaced it's a two and a half inch SATA um, hard drive it's a spinning drive this is one terabyte um, we're gonna change this they don't need much storage so we're gonna upgrade it to a 240 gig SSD you can put any SSD you want that fits the same slot so any two and a half inch SATA SSD should work all right then you got the trackpad um, here so let me see here. were there physical buttons on this okay yeah so this is for the touchpad buttons you got the touchpad that connects by this cable and then it goes to the buttons and then that but the buttons cable goes to the motherboard or the logic board um, usually when the CPU and stuff is soldered in place they call this a logic board so just in case you're wondering why I call it a logic board and so, yeah and a motherboard sometimes so anyways here's the RAM there's only one stick in this currently um, I hate that because they put these stupid labels on top and also this is a Kingston memory stick which they usually don't like to show the speed but luckily this time they actually show it so it's PC4 2400T okay so that's the RAM I'm gonna put that back on there Okay, we'll slide that back in. Make sure you push it all the way in at an angle. I've had some people that don't push it far enough and then um, the computer won't start. You got the CMOS battery, so if you need to replace that, what you do is you get a small flathead screwdriver or just any screwdriver and then you can push the, the um, battery inwards. The spring is on this side and once you push it in, it'll pass these clips and you can pull it up. Okay, I like to use a little magnet so when I push it in, um, the moment it clears the thing, it'll stick to the magnet. Anyways, then you got the speaker um, connector here and both speakers. So the speaker goes from this to here and then it connects to the board like this. To remove these connectors, you just use your two fingers like that. Wiggle the connector. Don't try and yank it too hard. Just keep wiggling it. Eventually.